To find the key, all you need to do is to type into Google CSIRO key invertebrates and this key will come up as one of the first choices. It is what we call an interactive key and it's extremely easy to use. Using the sort of the knowledge that we've gained already, let's have a little look at an insect. So the first question is very easy, does it have legs or not? And so yes it does have legs. The second question is how many pairs of legs does it have? I can actually have a little look and see, yes, it actually does have three pairs of legs. It doesn't have four or more. Does it have wings? Now, remember, if I can't see those parts of the abdomen, then I know that I have got wings. And I look at it and it does, it clearly has wings, right? And the next question is a little bit trickier. It says, how many pairs of wings does it have? We can actually see that the hind wings have been reduced to little knobs, not the front wings. So we in fact click on here and we're given lots of information. We're told that we have the order Diptera. That means we have either a fly or a mosquito and in fact mosquitoes are flies. To restart the key, all you need to go to, to do is go back to invertebrate key and it will restart. Another particular group, yes, the legs are present. It has three pairs of legs. It has wings. It has the two pairs of wings. All the wings are membranous and soft and flexible. All the four wings may be hard, partly hard or leathery in appearance. And if you look at this, you can see that those wings are very membranous. What we mean by that is they're soft, right? You can see through them. Um, we sometimes call it hyaline, right? So this is that group. And if we're looking at this group, look at the pictures. Here we have the four wings are very hard, as in the beetles. They might be partly hard, like in the true bugs, or they could be leathery, like in the grasshoppers and the praying mantis. So this is what we mean by leathery. And the next question is, are the wings covered in scales or hairs? There's no hairs on this, so it's, the wings are membranous and transparent. Right, and the next question is about the tail, about the abdomen, right? Does it have these long tail-like things? No, it does not. And does it have extensive wing venation? Well, that just means it doesn't have lots of little lines in the wing. If I look at this carefully, Yes, there are lots of little lines in the wing. When it's at rest, now it's a little bit difficult at the moment because this one's been pinned, but are the wings held away from the body? Does it have very large eyes and a very small antennae? Well, if you look at this, you can see immediately it's got very long antennae, so it's definitely this way. Does it have an elongated beak at the front? No, it does not. Those wing veins forked near the tip. Yes, they are. And we've got a lace wing. And so using that key, you can get to all 26 of the common orders of insect in Australia.